Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be seeing how we can build a Jenkins pipeline remotely uh, in this video. So here uh, in this uh, video we will try to see how we can build a very basic Jenkins pipeline using the Jenkins portal and we will try to trigger it remotely using a curl command. Okay. So I am currently working on Fedora 37 workstation with Jenkins LTS uh, running on my system. Okay. So what is uh, the purpose of using a remote Jenkins uh, build trigger? Okay. So we can use this feature of uh, remotely building a pipeline or a, a job in Jenkins uh, uh, from a script. Uh, with uh, in which we can call this uh, URL to remotely trigger a build and also it can be useful uh, in cases where uh, when whenever there is a uh, uh, there are some changes happening in the repository or uh, some commit has happened into the repository that event can trigger this remote build uh, on the Jenkins uh, service okay so these are the use cases wherein we can use this feature of remotely building the jenkins job or pipeline so here uh, we will see now uh, like how we can achieve this using this video so as a first step we need to ensure that docker and docker compose is installed and running on our system okay so let me go into my shell and i have my docker and docker compose installed with the following versions as you can see and let me check my docker service so it is already up and running so in, in if you are uh, doing it for the first time let me uh, check the official documentation of uh, docker and install these components and start up the docker service okay so let us go into our next step that is step 2 creating the docker compose file for jenkins service so here like i'm going to use the docker compose uh, uh, to launch my docker uh, jenkins docker service so let me show you my docker compose file so this is my docker compose file uh, wherein i'm using the uh, jenkins lts version and i'm going to uh, launch uh, the service on port 8080 and listen and uh, we can access it on port 8082 from the host machine okay and also like we are going to preserve the jenkins home directory uh, like which contains the the data related to the jenkins instance and this is the network uh, which we are going to use okay so this is as simple as this like uh, the docker compose file that we can use to start up the service so let me start up the service now using the docker compose file so this is now coming up so jenkins is fully up and running right now so let me go into my browser and try to access my Jenkins service on port 8082 okay so I have my Jenkins up and running so this is not the first time that I'm uh, launching my Jenkins so I have already set up my user uh, like uh, super uh, user uh, credentials so if this is the first time like you're uh, setting up the Jenkins like you need to like capture the password uh, and uh, like uh, uh, login uh, using that and change it uh, to your respective uh, password okay so that you can do uh, as per the Jenkins documentation like uh, where they will uh, like they provide you the details of like how we can uh, set up the Jenkins for the first time okay so let me log in into my Jenkins using my super user so this is uh, my Jenkins portal so here let me go into my documentation again so now we have created our docker compose file in step 2 
and in step 3 like we have started the service now as a step 4 let us try to create a pipeline so here I'm going to create a basic, very basic pipeline uh, in Jenkins so let me copy this Jenkins pipeline script and try to create it using the Jenkins portal okay so here I'm creating a new item that is pipeline so let me name the, my pipeline as some uh, tomcat pipeline let's say okay okay so let me create this one so here we have created the tomcat pipeline and go down and you can see the pipeline definition uh, make sure it is selected as pipeline script and we will copy this pipeline okay so what exactly this pipeline is doing is it is basically executing a set of steps or stages that is top application reset secrets test connection and redeploy the application okay but it is a very basic uh, uh, thing like it will just echo the command uh, with the the step that we are executing okay so this is a very basic pipeline that we uh, are going to uh, execute uh, from the curl command remotely okay and one more thing that we uh, need to do in order to trigger this pipeline remotely is in the build trigger section like we need to check this box trigger build remotely okay and here like we need to provide an authentication uh, token which can be any string uh, but uh, for in our case like we will try to generate it uh, generate a random uh, string of 16 characters using python so let me generate this one and uh, here is the string that we will be using for that token so let me copy the string and we will save this ok now uh, we have our pipeline ready the next step is like we need to trigger the pipeline remotely using the curl command ok so for that let us try to go to our tomcat pipeline again and check what exactly uh, we need to trigger uh, what exactly will be the url to trigger this uh, pipeline remotely okay so here you can see from the message like use the following url to trigger the build remotely okay so let me copy this one this is the url for building the pipeline remotely without parameters and this is with parameters so as our Jenkins pipeline is not having any uh, parameters like we are going to copy this pipeline url so let me clear my screen so we'll be using curl command to trigger our pipeline using the following uh, url and in this like i'll remove jenkins url and copy it with my url that is this URL okay and the, uh, so this is my URL base URL slash job slash pipeline name that is tomcat pipeline and slash build okay and here like we need to pass the token also So let me copy that token from here and paste it. Okay, so let us try to uh, run this curl command as it is. You can see it uh, gives an error like authentication required. So basically, in order to build this pipeline remotely, we need to authenticate with uh, whatever user uh, uh, like we want to trigger this bit. So let me give the user details 
uh, with this curl command and let me pass admin admin at the rate one two three four so which is my admin user and password so here like we are able to trigger the build remotely okay now let us go into our Tomcat pipeline and you can see the build has been triggered remotely and it is completed successfully and this is my build output okay so stop application reset secrets test connection redeploy application and here you can see the build has been started by a remote host which is this host uh, which corresponds to my fedsir.stack.com fpdl okay so this is how like uh, you can uh, basically build a pipeline remotely okay the only thing that uh, is required is uh, user uh, needs access to that build uh, like he can uh, ha he has uh, access to read that build and he also has the token uh, the correct token value uh, with which he can trigger the build okay so this is how like we can uh, basically use a curl command to trigger a remote Jenkins build I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day